that the suspect in the Austin bombings is dead. They uh, in, investigators say that they had been watching for him. They, they, they knew who they were looking for. They'd known they had, had some leads for the past couple of days. They've only identified him as far as a 24 year old white male. They don't have a motive yet and they do say the investigation is ongoing. They were on to him, uh, started tailing him last night. They were at a hotel, watched him leave this morning. They started following his vehicle. They didn't say how it transpired, but eventually he pulled off the side of the road as officers were approaching the vehicle. He detonated a bomb and officers then began to open fire on that vehicle. Mm -hmm. um, one SWAT officer was hurt during the altercation, but I think right. the keys right now are the fact that the, the bomber who they believe was responsible for all of this, dating back to uh, early March this 2nd. month, March mm -hmm. 2nd, is dead and they cannot confirm that there are no more devices out there. Right. So they want people to be uh, vigilant mm -hmm. and to be just as cautious as they were before this breaking event took place. Right, and we, and we, uh, we do have a reporter there at the scene. J.D. Miles is there for us. Um, I'm gonna, Donald, did you say do not go to J.D. yet? All right, he is there now, J.D. Good morning. We know you've been following this story for a while and you actually covered this last night during our 10 o'clock news. Um, th this is all breaking. This right. is developing right now. What do we make of all of this? Well, Karen, this all came together very quickly, of course, as the chief mentioned, just in the last have the evidence they would have needed to solve this case, according to Chief Brian Manley, who just spoke a few minutes ago. You can see the scene here on I-35 where traffic is backed up. They've sealed off uh, access to I-35 going south from Round Rock into downtown. A number of police vehicles here. This is a, um, a huge operation, a crime scene that will take hours, if not days, to process. Uh, police here have told us that the uh, incident all went down outside a motel here on I-35. Uh, there's a red roof in and a wood spring suites. Apparently, police found this bombing suspect inside or on the parking lot of one of these two motels and uh, began surveillance, but noticed that the suspect was starting to leave in a vehicle. They initiated a pursuit. The uh, um, officers, SWAT officers, were uh, following this suspect who uh, apparently knew he was being followed. Um, he had some sort of uh, uh, incident, either he wrecked out or he stopped. Uh, officers approached the vehicle, and uh, that's when the suspect detonated a homemade bomb, presumably homemade bomb, that he uh, um, uh, used to commit suicide before police could take him alive. Uh, but again, the police chief says that the security camera video from that FedEx store, which we didn't know about until um, yesterday when we had the uh, package bombs that were uh, found in shirts and also in southeast Austin. Um, that led police to that FedEx store on Brody Lane in southwest Austin. That's where they were able to get those security camera images. From there, the police chief says they were able to use uh, receipts. They were able to use um, cell phone signals. They were able to use witness accounts to get a car description and that led authorities right here overnight where they were able to start their surveillance when that car was spotted in this parking lot and everything went down. As we heard the chief just say, uh, clearly this is a nightmare for the city of Austin that is over with, presumably. The police chief and the bureau chief of the ATF and the FBI all warn that people have to be vigilant. They have, vigilant. They have to make sure that they are um, uh, you know, on guard for any packages, any package bombs that this suspect possibly uh, mailed out uh, in a day or two before his death. So um, this uh, search for a suspect may be over, but the uh, clearly the uh, the uh, efforts to remain uh, vigilant and to make sure Austin is aware that we don't have any more injuries or any more deaths from this um, is not over with. J.D. Miles reporting live in Round Rock, about 15 miles north of Austin. Thank you so much for that report.